Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen here with Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Houston Texans, taking on the New York football giants. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates and all the breakdowns. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Looking at this game here, this is going to be a crossroads game for the New York football Jets. Since getting Devontae Adams, they are 0-2. You look at the first game that they had, understandable. He didn't really know the playbook fully. The second week of practice, they put a lot more into it, and they lost to the Patriots. They should have beaten the team, but they let the team stay around most of the game, and that ended up being a loss for them. Aaron Rodgers struggled and did not play his best game, and you saw a lot of the body language for the Jets. You saw a lot that was going on, and you also saw – that the New York football Jets are not scoring the football at the regularity that you would think with having Wilson on one side, uh, Devontae Adams on another side, and you have uh, a plethora of running backs. You have all that you basically want, but you're not really putting it up on the board. The Houston Texans are struggling right now. They did get a win against the Colts, but they're struggling with injuries. Uh, Stephon Diggs is now out for the rest of the season, unfortunately, with the uh, knee injury. And you're looking at overall what the Houston Texans are going to have to do. They're going to have to have more playmakers at the wide receiver step up because C.J. Stroud is going to have to be able to depend on them. I know that uh, oftentimes they had depth at the wide receiver position, but now that depth is dwindling because their wide receivers are going down. You're seeing injuries all over the platform, and you, you just ask yourself, are the Houston Texans going to be healthy enough to make it to the end of the season? I believe that they will. I think this is going to be a tough game for them because this is a style that they have to kind of enforce against the Jets. The Jets have an offense that can fire up. They have the tools. It's just they're not firing on all cylinders right now. It may be this game that they get going offensively, and you don't know what's going to happen as far as the run game or the pass game. You don't know what they're going to be doing. So right now, you got to be unconventional if you're the Texans. Make them play your game. Make them play your style of game from the defensive side of the ball. Get after them. Make sure Aaron Rodgers not only feels you in the, back, uh, in the backfield, but he also has to make transitions, make quick plays that he doesn't really like to make, and bother that offensive line of the Jets. The, the, the Houston Texans have an advantage defensively on a defensive line. They should be able to attack that offensive line and get critical matchups where they can get one-on-ones and not get so much of a double team. I think that the pass rush is going to get to Aaron Rodgers a little bit. They're going to rush this, and I think the Houston Texans are going to be able to pull out a victory in this one. I think it's going to be a close game with the Houston Texans coming out on top. All you Texans fans, get in the comment section below. All you Jets fans, get in the comment section below. Definitely check out Sports Choice Plus, and we'll see you on the very next episode.